every business is online. Every business is an internet business, every single one. So it becomes super important to understand the risks of cybersecurity to the longevity of that business. My name is Jaya Ballou and I'm the Chief Information Security Officer at Avast. So cybersecurity is kind of like a basis foundational thing that we need in order for us to be able to innovate at speed and at scale on every technology that we have coming out. Basically preserving the right or the ability for us to protect that revenue or innovation or intellectual property. I think the most difficult thing for professionals is to kind of consume the almost overwhelming amount of information that's coming at them. The smartest thing though is to start with yourself and understand only the threats that will be pertaining to you, then to branch out and see what else is happening amongst the industry that they're in. Because very often we do the reverse. We're reading about all this stuff that's happening all over the world and have no idea about how it's going in our sector. So I think when it comes to like consumption of threat intelligence, or uh, any other type of security information that we try to make it more specific and only then do we actually embrace those lessons that are happening you know within our own networks and then implement change so wh what we talked about today was we talked about some more recent hacks and we also kind of dissected them the biggest hardest thing there is to do when you have a company whether it's a startup or a massive you know a fortune 500 company is to understand yourself to know your own network know your services know your supply chain upstream and downstream super difficult and it's really difficult to know but you can find out if there's company credentials available for sale on the dark web right if there are credentials for sale in takedowns you can find out. There are lots of tools out there. SpyCloud is one of them. They only look at data dumps and then they'll force a reset of those passwords, only those that are compromised. So I think the reason to get, you know, the cybersecurity stuff that we're already doing uh, in good shape is because we want to be able to handle emerging technologies. So uh, when we're building out AI systems or when we're building out quantum computing, when we embrace all the new innovations that are coming there, it becomes super important to get the basics right. Because because otherwise we give a new threat space for new tech using old vulnerabilities. And that's something we don't want to see happen. I think business leaders and entrepreneurs jeopardize not only their current businesses, but also their future ability to do business because of the way that you know, we give trust to business leaders. So it's really about, with cybersecurity, kind of establishing something effective. I'm not asking for folks to do more than necessary, but just to understand which trade-offs we make when we want to innovate for a secure future. I have to say that the most encouraging thing is that we actually know what to do to get cybersecurity right. We have frameworks, we have tooling, we have ways of working that make it painless and seamless if we do it right. I think that any good cybersecurity shouldn't look like it has enormous amounts of friction. So we just need to make sure that we try to get this at scale for every company and to make sure they can implement it without too much pain to users who need to use the technology. This is absolutely possible.